Hey there! Are you an artist, author, creator, or a cultural worker? If you are, you probably heard about copyright before, but you might still not really understand it very well. Perhaps we can help you with that. Here, we'll show you how copyright affects cultural and creative work and how you can handle it. So first, let's be clear about what we mean by cultural and creative work. Studies show that if you're an artist or a cultural worker, you like to dare, try new things, you have a risky, artistic spirit, and the creative act is essential to you. You see your work as a positive activity that you enjoy, rather than something you have to do to earn money. Creative work is not just about financial income. It involves other types of rewards such as the autonomy to manage your time or the freedom to make your own choices. You probably are highly educated. Unfortunately, this usually has little influence on your creative career. You most likely work part-time and may hold multiple jobs to complement the low and uncertain income from your artistic work. And like you, there are a lot of other creators, maybe too many for the market, so there's a lot for audiences and clients to choose from, and as work supply increases, payments tend to fall. Finally, to develop a strong creative career, you need to meet the right people who can help you gain a good reputation. Those networks also influence your artistic practice somehow, so you usually need to be very flexible and adaptable. So although cultural and creative work might be seen as a positive kind of work, it also results in a lot of uncertainty. Only very few creators and cultural workers manage to reach the spotlight and become so-called superstars. And once they do, their work becomes more of a response to market pressures than the result of artistic inspiration. But what's copyright got to do with this? 